I was filming this crazy video where I stayed overnight on the side of a cliff. It was cold, dark, and rainy outside. My friend and I were in the tent sleeping when suddenly I felt the urge to pee. I got out of the tent to go pee when suddenly I felt my feet slip out from under me. I slipped and fell off the side of the cliff. I fell about 30 feet until I hit the ground with a Ow, that hurt. That hurt so bad. Ow. Okay, guys. Honestly, it was a normal day. I was on a run, like, near my neighborhood, and I... I tripped on a curb yeah and I broke my collarbone because I tripped on a curb and yeah that's it they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand yeah so I was on a run and I was looking at my phone trying to play some music which you stupid you shouldn't run while you're like looking at your phone like this because that's kind of dumb and I tripped on a curb while I was looking at my phone and I kind of turned this way because I didn't want the phone to shatter. Bruh. And it still kind of shattered on the bottom. And it hit my shoulder and I remember feeling like a popping sound. I like laid there for like a while. And like, I remember some people were like walking by, like just staring at me. Like, Why is he just laying there? And I got up and I felt my shoulder and there was like a big bump coming out of my shoulder. At first I thought I had dislocated my shoulder. But when I got to the doctor, they're like, oh, that's a broken collarbone. Here's the x-ray picture right here. Um, as you can see, it come, kind of comes up and that's where there's a bump. And I think I'll have that bump there for the rest of my life. That happened about a week ago, a little more. And yeah, I was in a sling too. Now, I can, now I'm just wearing this thing. You can see the back right here. Ow. <laughs> yeah, so it's a pretty bad story to tell people when they ask how I, I broke my collarbone. They're like, Caleb, how did you break your collarbone? And I'm like, I tripped on a curb. And then they laugh at me and we move on. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! Within the past three months, I've lost about 300 subscribers. And with this and everything, like, I'm just kind of getting discouraged. So, I think I'm going to take a break for a while. I don't know how long it will be. Like, two, three months. Um, yeah. Sorry. Psych! Did you actually think I was gonna quit YouTube for two to three months? No, definitely not. This is actually the turning point. Instead of losing subscribers, we're gonna start gaining subscribers again. To do that though, we need to set some goals. 50K before the beginning of July, 100K before the end of the summer, and 1 million before the end of the year. I get out of high school in about two years, and I want YouTube to be like a full-time job by the time I'm out of high school. Like, I can't picture myself doing anything other than YouTube as my full-time job when I'm older. Like, YouTube is like the only thing I'm really passionate about and stuff. Literally a year ago, this is what my channel looked like. So thank you for 40,000. Let's get to 50,000. Thank you so much, guys. Also, guys, I forgot to mention, I think I can bring like a whole new style to YouTube, like a new unique style. Um, I know my videos aren't quite there yet, but they're going to get there eventually. I'm still developing like this new style. So yeah, the videos are only going to get better from here. Please like and subscribe and bye. What are you doing? I was just trying to break your other collarbone.